A special thank you to my YouTube members and patrons for supporting the channel and supporting my content. How's it going everybody and welcome back to another subreddit video. Today I am joined by Leo. Come back the boy. The boy. <laughs> the the teeny tiny boyfriend. He's like three foot tall. Yeah. Uh, he's like a small dog in yeah, that he's I'm tiny and has all the energy. <laughs> I have no, oh, okay. Yeah, it depends on the day. I'm like a chihuahua. And today we are going to be late taking a look. I can't talk. I always have every, as soon <laughs> as I- going to be a lake. As soon as I turn the camera on, I lose the ability to yeah, talk. Yeah, exactly. And Anyway, today we're taking a look at r slash relationship memes. Because we are in fact in a relationship. And I have no <laughs> idea how long this video is going to be because I want to make it as low effort as possible because I'm having to edit it in the week because we're going out on the weekend. Because it's my birthday. So wish Leo a happy birthday in the description. Description? Uh, description. Comments. I turned 20. I'm an adult now. <laughs> by the time this video goes up, he I will, will be 20 years already old. be 20 by about a week. Anyway, let's take a look at the subreddit. Also for context, a lot of these um, like images are uh, very straightified. So uh, obviously we are not a straight yeah, couple. Most people are straight. <laughs> so most of the memes come yeah. from straight people. <laughs> Pronouns don't exist. What are they? When your girlfriend gets into gaming and you get to show her your favorite yeah, game. Yeah, this has been us. This, this has been us with a lot of things. Films, games, so many things. Us, this is actually us playing Bloodborne. That is actually us playing Bloodborne. Me sort of um, like just <laughs> holding on to you for dear life. It was me accidentally beating the final boss, not realizing that yeah. I wouldn't then be able to help you with it because I've beat it. <laughs> yeah, and we sort of, you sort of ended up helping me with all the bosses. Like I enjoyed the game and I could do it independently, but like you were like my little security blanket because but I'd get really stressed out. You did end up beating the final boss I did boss, end up though, beating the without final boss my help. all on my own and yeah. I only died about 24 times. And it only took you like quitting the game for a week because it stressed you out. Yeah, I get really worked up over getting things wrong so <laughs> yeah it did take me a while but I had a great time. Bloodborne is amazing, it's one of my favourite games now. It's a good, it's a good game. We've got Elden Ring to play we next. We do have Elden Ring to play next. <laughs> Wanting to be Big Spoon to let my boyfriend feel safe and warm, cause dibs on Little Spoon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I am very small compared to you, but sometimes you just want to be baby. <laughs> and I will be a little jetpack when we're in bed. <laughs> it's, it's, a lot of people do call it like a jetpack. Jetpack. Yeah. I've never heard spoon. that. Have you before? really never heard no. it? No. I think I've just been on like fan fiction culture for too long. <laughs> but yeah, I will be a little jetpack just so you feel safe, even though you do get way too hot. Like, I do. After 30 I, seconds. It will be better once summer has passed yeah. and we can cuddle again yeah. without me. I'm already too hot currently yeah. and we're like not even touching. Yeah. Like, yeah, we are polar opposites in the fact that I am permanently freezing cold and they are permanently boiling hot, so I will like huddle up to them for warmth and I'll be like, it's too hot, go away. But which, I mean, it's understandable. It's very hot in the UK right now, but oh. <laughs> no air conditioning. No air conditioning. Waiting on your SO to come home so you can continue watching your show. This, <laughs> this is so us. Uh, this this is... has been me with Castlevania yeah. or any of their shows. Stranger Things, Umbrella Academy, this is we, us. We only watch them when you're here yeah. and you're here like half Half the week? Yeah, just yeah. over half. Like three or four days, depending yeah. on the week. So yeah, the, just the time that I have to wait yeah. and I'm like, I want to, I want to carry it. on and watching it. Yeah. I think because of how used uh, to just binging shows on my own yeah. I am and just having them done in yeah. a few days, it's a completely different experience yeah. for me to have to wait to finish yeah. a show. And the thing is like before me, me and you started dating, like I, I didn't really watch films. And I did watch some shows, not because I like thought films were bad or anything. It's just never crossed my mind to do it alone. And I like get who over overwhelmed by choice whereas if it's like us like being like let's choose a film we've basically now watched a film every night or at mm -hmm. least a couple of episodes of something every night and like it's, it's been really like fulfilling to be able to finally be a film person and watch all these films that people have been like I can't believe you've never watched that and now I have an actual excuse to watch things <laughs> when I finally see you after being that's grammar after, i didn't <laughs> what, even notice i finally see you after being missing you for so long firstly grammar but okay i didn't even notice the grammar when i <laughs> saved the picture <laughs> this is this is usually me even though i only like don't see you for like three days a week this is usually me but recently it has been you a little bit like, a couple of times you've been like i know you've only been gone for like a day but i miss you come back and i'm like i want to and i have to work work is gross, gross. <laughs> work I'm, is I'm glad that i work at home like yeah. three days 
days of my five days working yeah. it's nice although i do have to spend the whole weekend recording and editing yeah, youtube you so it takes up a bit of my time yeah, but and luckily i only really work weekends because but yes this is this is both of us but you like are bad at admitting that it is also you <laughs> don't know what you're talking about <laughs> you are secretly sappy but only show it on a very rare occasion <laughs> i hate the fact that men aren't as expressive you will share every tiny detail of your day and all you'll know about him is that he was alive <laughs> this could be both of us in different ways i am definitely just the yeah work was fine yeah like, I'll be like oh how was work and you'll be like yeah it was, yeah, all it was right, right. <laughs> like and i'll tell you about all of the random stuff i've gotten up to like i'll tell you like what sandwich i ate or like where i've been or how long i've been in bed or that your cat said hi to me <laughs> it's just i don't really know how else to describe a day other than oh i sat in the lobby and edited a video yeah. like th th yeah. it's, it, there's not a lot to talk about yeah well we have like very different works your work is very like monotonous and the same mm. thing every day and then like my work is i found a scorpion today <laughs> and like oh um one of one of the rats has decided to try and kill the other one or like there's been like mass duck murder that one time oh yeah because <laughs> the time that the ducks the ducks decided to drown each other no context for that but ducks tried to <laughs> drown each other um and yeah so i have a very eventful work life and you have quite a monotonous one so yeah. i do have more to share generally <laughs> but but yeah it's quite funny when you come home when I'm when I've been sitting here all day and you're like oh how was working you're like it was okay and I'm like okay what do you want for dinner me listening to him talk about the things he's passionate about even though it makes absolutely zero sense to me yeah this is communally just us it's both of us yeah yeah we have very very niche interests and they're very like specific to each other and we'll be very very happy like having a discussion about the other person's interests while simultaneously having no idea what's going on <laughs> at all when you do tell me about stuff to do with work and I'm like I don't understand video editing in like the most remote way whatsoever <laughs> but I appreciate it and I like your plant pot animation <laughs> and like your music stuff and you'll be like oh I don't know I don't know like I don't really know if that works and I'm like it's just good sounds in my ears and I'm happy <laughs> it's fine or Warhammer models Warhammer and I'm talking models. about like the lore behind the model and how their powers are yeah. great and you're and just, just like, like it's pretty mm -hmm. <laughs> And like I have, I'm a very sciencey person. Like I, I'm an animal person. I'm studying like a lot of sciencey animal things, and it's all very like niche and weird. And you're like, I just like hearing you talk about stuff. Like when we go to an aquarium, my speciality is fish. And when we go to an aquarium, and I'm just ranting at you about like the fish, and you're like, I just like seeing you this happy. <laughs> that is really sweet. And that's why we're going to an aquarium. That's why we're going birthday. to an aquarium for my birthday because <laughs> I am autistic. We're going to Brighton. We're going to Brighton Aquarium. So this meme, uh, your Spongebob in this meme. I am. My girlfriend trying to get something done. <laughs> Me helping. <laughs> yeah. I, yeah, I just always gotta pop. Yep. <laughs> and give we'll, it a little slap. We'll just move on. <laughs> Do you smoke? Only in days I forget to tell my wife that I love her. Your lungs are in perfect condition. Uh. Can't wink. <laughs> this is really ironic because um, before we met, I was a very heavy smoker. You were. Uh, and um, I like stopped four months into us dating, I think. Um, and so this is actually very relevant. I don't think you were that heavy a smoker, though. I smoke. I didn't really smoke much around you, but I was. Because when we were together, you, the, the cigarettes you smoked were tiny as well. Yeah, because they're roll-ups. You make them tiny. And also because I was not you, much money. You, you make roll-ups really small. Every time I've seen someone make it's a roll-up, they make get, like a full-size cigarette. because you can get different sizes of filters. You can get um, slim, ultra, uh, extra slim and ultra slim. I smoked the ultra slim ones, which were like the skinniest one. Mm -hmm. So you could get a lot of cigarettes out of a pouch of tobacco. Um, but I did used to smoke like a like constantly uh, but I wouldn't do it as much around you because like I didn't want to because I felt bad uh, and then I nearly died and then quit smoking <laughs> yeah um, and now I haven't <laughs> smoked in six months in two days you've done a really good job as well heck yeah me about to kiss my sick boyfriend but you'll get sick too a small price to pay for a kiss <laughs> so funny story the first time I ever stayed around uh, your house <laughs> they were really sick they were just vomiting yeah and it was I'm absolutely petrified of vomit uh, and I was not having a good time but I made sure that I I was like I will face this fear I will stay here and I will be good uh, and I I was I yeah this meme basically happened mm -hmm. of me being like you being like oh I don't want to make you sick and I was like no I'll brave for it I can do it <laughs> yeah, I so can face my fear 
<laughs> so funny story, I I think I'm allergic to Rennie's. So Leo was staying around mm. and we were gonna go out, but I get quite bad acid, acid reflux sometimes. So we packed some Rennie's so that I could, I, and I had never tried them mm. before, but we we're like, oh, maybe it'll help with the acid reflux. And I never really thought about it. I took them, made me throw up, <laughs> and I was like really violently ill yeah. from eating a Rennie. And it happened, I was like, oh, maybe I just had a bad stomach. Yeah, and then it happened and again. I tried, so I tried it again a few weeks later and it happened again. So yeah. Rennie's make me sick. And Leo had to look after me while I was like violently ill. <laughs> it was. And this was like, you literally your first time staying here. Yeah, I think it was over our Christmas. fourth time actually meeting because we'd been on two dates. I came over for dinner and mm -hmm. then I stayed over yours before Christmas. Uh, it was our fourth time like actually meeting <laughs> and, I was and you violently were just violently Ill. vomiting. And I was like, <laughs> <laughs> it was a great impression early on. We lasted. We, we, yeah, we we're did. Still together. We're still together and it's fine. <laughs> My girl, when I ask her to keep me alive in cod while I use the bathroom. This is us in sky in the morning when so you're taking your 25 year poop. I also feel like I, I used to play a lot of competitive games. Me uh, me and George used to play a lot mm. of really competitive games. We played Apex yeah. and Rainbow Six Siege and Overwatch and all of those games. Yeah. I haven't touched them in like two years yeah. at this point, but I used to play them like religiously. Yeah. And I feel like if I did and I suddenly had to dash the toilet yeah. and I was just like, hey Leo, take over yeah. for a second. That's the thing like we, we, we're really into this game called Sky Children of the Light at the moment it's great but there's a, feat, a function where you can hold hands and I have the bladder of a two year old so often I'll be like Lawrence hold my hand I need to pee uh, so you can continue taking me around the map and so we can keep doing what we're doing but yeah this this is very much us but yeah this is I feel like this is the face you would pull if I yeah. was suddenly like keep me alive for <laughs> a like, second ah. from come over to come home is a real relationship goal to me yeah luckily I get to spend like most of my time here but I do sadly still have adult responsibilities at mm -hmm. home on occasion. But I feel like we have kind of achieved making this like a yeah. second home. Yeah, which is which is great. So like when you're at work and I'm I'm here hanging out with like your sibling or your mum or something, I'll be like, I miss you, come home. <laughs> because like it's basically it's like a second home. So we have basically achieved this, mm -hmm. like even though I technically don't live here. Expensive restaurant dishes. This is brilliant. Any meal cooked by my partner. But I like this. <laughs> I do like cooking for you. I, 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 yeah, it's it's something I really enjoy. <laughs> We've sort of established sort of like for when we move in together, like how it's going to work if I'm working full time on my animal stuff, mm. going out every day at ridiculous o'clock in the morning that like I'm going to do dinners and you're going to make me a packed lunch for the day. <laughs> if you ever want to see food that Leo has made for me, join my Discord channel in the description. Yes, I do occasionally He's post it there. Posted pictures like yes. the pancakes you oh made God, me. They, they were really Really nice but they did not come out as aesthetically pleasing I was hoping and the Nutella that I'd like drizzled over them kind of just clumped and it was like oh but I made a nice strawberry heart to put on they the tasted top. good they so, did taste good I and did I got I didn't finish them because I was really full <laughs> yeah I did we had to like <laughs> made two work two. together because it was <laughs> like a, it was like an American sized yeah. stack of yeah. pancakes but yeah I do often just be like I want to make you lunch what do you want and I'll often just make you like a full cooked like mm -hmm. English breakfast or something for the lunch, problem is I never like ever it. know what I want yeah so you'll be like what do you want for lunch and I'll be like, oh no no. And you'll be like, that's not helpful. And I'll be like, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> and then I just go through like suggesting you things. You'd be like, actually I fancy that. And I'm like, okay, say no more. You, you're getting it because otherwise I know you're gonna forget to eat lunch yeah. or just not know what you want and get like overwhelmed I, I by it. I forget to eat lunch a lot. Yeah. It's because you get like overwhelmed by it, like options as well. You're like, I have to make a choice and I don't want to do that. Um, so when I lost my ex at a party, I found him hooking up with another girl in the next room. Last night I lost my boyfriend at a party and found him eating alone. Eat, uh, uh, found him alone eating eating buffalo chicken dips straight out of the crock pot upgrade. Yeah, either that or it's stroking a cat. I'm not a party person anymore, but the last party I went to, I did spend about four hours of it just petting a random cat I found outside on the street. I uh, haven't been to a party since. I'm but... trying to think if I've ever actually been to a party. I don't know if like going to George's house for New Year's counts when there's like six of us there. <laughs> to be fair, I did the same thing at George's party for New Year's as I found his cat <laughs> and I sat with the cat and that's basically what I do. Yeah, so usually Usually it's not uh, eating buffalo chicken dip, but it is usually finding an animal to play with in my case. Because, I think both of us are yeah, this. Yeah, we are both this person. Like, <laughs> we we are the people that I, never I am to. actually the just you, eat, yeah, eating eat food. Dip if I go to a party, it's just to eat all of the food. <laughs> I've just thought up a meme and I might have to create a meme now. Oh. And it's, you know, the is for me meme. Yeah. It's me gets food for myself. <laughs> you is it's for, for me. me. Oh my God, that's me. <laughs> 
<laughs> I have an incapability of serving myself my own food. Like, obviously I'm like, I can eat, but like if I get really anxious about serving myself food around other people, but if you get food, I will be like, can I have a bite? And you're like, just go get your own portion. I'm like, no, I want to just, just bite. Give me a bite, nothing else. <laughs> and that's it. I can't, I can't serve myself my own food. <laughs> Because I'm normal. <laughs> and the final meme, till death do us part, but then what? I, I guess we're single, huh? <laughs> yeah. So wanna grab coffee sometimes? <laughs> oh, that's really wholesome. <laughs> I feel like this would be us. Yeah, that would be us. We if we, we we had a weird establishment of what would happen if the other died first. Is that um one we definitely haunt each other, like that's guaranteed we're going to haunt each other. And that also one of us would keep the other's skull. I don't oh, know yeah, why that why, was discussed. How did that even uh, when did I, that come up? I don't know. We've had a, a lot of random discussions about what we do with each other's dead bodies, <laughs> which is really random, but you know. It sounds weird when you put it like that. It does that. sound really weird when we put it like that, but <laughs> you know, just the way our economy's going, you just gotta keep your options open. <laughs> and that's where I think we're gonna call the video. Yay. So thank you for watching everybody. I hope you have enjoyed. If you want to support me in making more content like this, then I have a Patreon in the description down below, or equally you can click the join button on my channel to support me. Do you want to plug? Yeah. Uh, I'm Soupy with multiple or variations of Ys on most platforms. Um, annoyingly, most social platforms don't let me put it with the same username, but I'm Soupy. <laughs> links to everything will yes, be in the description. Yes, <laughs> links will be in the description, but I am Soupy or Leo. Uh, do you have any commissions open yet? Yes, but I'm working on prices, so if if you want commissions, message me because um, I, I will give you prices there because I don't have a price sheet yet. But yes, yeah, so commissions are open for the most part, but I'm a little bit selective on what I pick just because I'm dysfunctional. <laughs> <laughs> he has good art. Special thank you to Nix, Holly Miller, Kauri Ann Mori, Chase Howard, Karen Duca, Top Shelf, L, Rennie, Dev, Thomas Penny, Emily Potter, Greyhound, Maxine Lankow, Gravity Gaia, Kelly Bot, Carolyn, The Angry Potato, Sven Arctic Fox, Outcast Jupiter, Abel Abel Eros Winchester. I think it's Eros. Oh, Abel Eros Winchester. Ghost Orchid. Charlie the Mad. Two five six. Kate Cat. Two lakes in a valley. Ika Limchok. An agent. Galaxy. Ronnie. Tam. Bug. Toxy Rain. Salted Denim. Poet Blanderson. Auntie Kaylee. E B Agent J. And Santa Chiara. You every like three names you just got closer. Is because I've got really closer. bad eyes. So you're like underneath I... the microphone. <laughs> oh no, that's gonna be really bad, isn't it's it? It's probably fine. Oh, I'm. I'm I'm sorry to whoever I butchered your names. Uh, I'm bad at reading. Uh, anyway, yes, thank you for watching everybody. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Peace out. And uh, now we take a, some kind of thumbnail photo. So we do like a pose. <laughs> Can I like I'm probably gonna cut both of us out so we don't have to actually okay. be like touching or anything. <laughs> Is that what you're doing? No. What do you want to do? Do a pose. <laughs> I always do that. I need to do something. <laughs> okay, good. Perfect.